Pathfinder is a game of medium difficulty and the rules can be a little hard to wrap your head around. Luckily, most of the rules can be easily learned just by playing the game with some friends. The Pathfinder role-playing game is extremely close to Dungeons & Dragons because it was originally based on expanding the rules of the Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 rulebooks. Pathfinder uses a d20 system, which means most of the dice that will be used to determine the outcome of events will be using a 20-sided dice. I will be walking you through character creation in this video. My next video will give you some examples of combat and gameplay. The first thing you need to do is select a race. There are many races in Pathfinder that will augment your stats depending on what you choose. When searching for a race, the rule books will tell you the bonuses and detriments that apply. Make sure to look at the feats listed for the race and write them down on your character sheet in the feats or special abilities section. Make sure to also write down your base speed at the top here. Next up, you will want to choose your class. Pathfinder has several different classes to choose from. Your class is where your powers and abilities come from. Take your time to select a class that speaks to you the most. Next, you will want to record on your character sheet your BAB or base attack bonuses and your base saves in Fortitude, Reflex, and Will, which correlate to your level located here. Place these numbers on your sheet here. You will also want to write down your class related feats in your feats section on your character sheet. You may need to take time and select feats appropriate to your character at this time, such as choosing a bloodline if you are a sorcerer, or a school of magic if you are a wizard. If you are a fighter, you may need to select combat feats to use at this time as well. Next up is to roll your stats. Now depending on your friend group, stats are rolled different ways. Here we will be using the rules for Pathfinder Society called the Point Buy System. You will start with a base 10 in all of your stats and have 20 points to spend wherever you wish. Choosing a stat below 10 will give you back additional points to spend. You cannot give a character starting statistics below 7 or above 18 before racial modifiers. But if you give an elf a dex of 18 for example, you'll start with a dex of 20 after the racial modifiers are applied. After you have distributed your points, it is time to add in the modifiers given to you by your race. For example, elves get a plus 2 to dex and intelligence, and a minus 2 to constitution. You will write these finished totals in the boxes here. Next, you must find out your modifiers that are generated by your base stats. Take the base score of each stat, subtract 10, and divide by 2 and round down. This will give you your ability modifiers. For example, I paid for my elf to have 18 points in dexterity, and then I added my plus 2 racial bonus, raising it to 20. Then to find out my ability modifier, I simply subtract 10 from 20, leaving me with 10, then I divide by 2 to get 5. This means I have a plus 5 dex modifier. Write the correlating modifiers on your sheet here. The temp adjustment or temp modifier section is used for adding bonuses you will gain from gear or magic that increase the scores in the future. Next up, it is time to fill out your CMB and CMD or combat maneuver bonus and defense. This is what you will use to grapple, trip, and knock over your opponents. Your CMD is what an opponent will have to beat to grapple, trip, or knock you over. To determine your CMB, add your base attack bonus score here, and your strength score here, and write your total here. If you are a medium creature, you will have a size modifier of 0. If you are small, you will get a minus 1 to these scores, and if you are large, you will get a plus 1. Write whatever applies to you here. Determine your CMD the same way, but now add your dex in plus 10 indicated here. Next, let's fill out your initiative. It is the modifier you will add to your d20 rolls in order to move first. Add your dex modifier here and write your total. This may change in the future when you decide on feats to take. Next is to determine your AC or armor class. This is what baddies have to roll in order to hit you. 
You can use the money the GM decides to start you out with to buy armor for your character. Use this to add bonuses here and here. Next, add your dex and the rest of the modifiers here. We will now determine your health points. You can find your HD, or hit die, rolled here on your class page. You will start with full points at level 1, and each level after you will roll the dice shown and add it to your HP. You also will add your con bonus to your health every level, giving you some extra padding. You must also decide on a favorite class, which will give you the choice of a plus one health bonus or skill rank per level that you can take in your declared favorite class. This choice is up to you. If you choose health, add it in now and write it here. Here's an example. My level one elf wizard gets 1d6 HD per level. He also has a con bonus of plus one, and wizard is my favorite class and I choose health over the skill point, giving me another plus one. My health total at level one will be six plus one plus one equaling eight. Next up, you will purchase a weapon and write down its bonuses. Starting weapons can sometimes be free depending on the GM. If not, use your starting money to select a basic weapon your class is proficient with. Now you will write the damage type and dice it gives you on your sheet. If it is a melee weapon, you will add your strength modifier to the damage dice rolled. Your weapon will also have a times blank critical score. Whenever an attack roll is a 20 on the d20, the attack might be a critical hit. Make another attack roll for the creature just like the first one. If this second attack roll would hit the target, the original attack is a critical hit and does double damage. Roll the damage for the weapon twice, including modifiers, and add the rolls together to find out how much damage you do. If your weapon crits on a lower score, you will do the same for the numbers below 20. At this point, we are almost finished. All there is left to do is allot your skill ranks and choose your spells if you have them. When looking at your class page, it should show a list of class skills here. You will now put a check mark in every box it says on your character sheet here. Your class page will also indicate how many skill ranks you get per level. You will add your intelligence modifier to this, and this will tell you how many ranks you have to allocate into your skills per level. If you choose to put a rank in a class skill, you will receive a one-time plus three bonus to that skill. Finally, magic users have a spell known in spells per day chart. Write down the total on your sheet here. Some classes do not have a spells known chart and rely on prepping spells from spell books or praying to their deity for power once a day. Write these totals down here and before you choose your spells, check out the table character advancement and level dependent bonuses. This chart will show you bonuses to ability scores and bonus feats you can take depending on your level. Also, check out the Ability Modifiers and Bonus Spells table, which will give you a bonus amount of spells you can cast depending on your class's spellcasting modifier. Intelligence for Wizards and Alchemists, Charisma for Sorcerers and Bards, and Wisdom for Clerics and Paladins and Oracles. These same scores will be used to determine the DC or dice count needed for your enemies to save from your spell effects. Your saves equal the level of the spell you cast, plus your class's spell modifier, plus 10. After you decide on your spells, you're finished. I know this is a lot of information to go over, but the Pathfinder role-playing game has got to be one of the most popular systems and has so many options for players to build the exact character they want to play. The system is easily adaptable for homebrew campaigns and different expansions. If this video has helped you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment about what you think of the system and any tips and tricks you may have for new players. This is Nick Newman from RPG Mastery. Remember to stay calm and roll 20.